Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad and today I've got another bottle that I am so excited to try. Uh, a friend of mine, well we've become friends, somebody who watches the videos reached out to me on TikTok and told me that he gets access to military bases from being in the military. There are some things that are only available in duty free shops and since it's a military base it qualifies as one of those. And he sent me a picture of this and I had never seen or heard of this so shout out to my boy Brandon for hooking me up with this. I had to do some digging on it. it. It's a very interesting bottle. It's a liter, so it's a big bottle. It's a big boy. Jack Daniels single malt that is finished in Oloroso sherry cask. Um, I am so excited to try this. I do not know what to expect from this at all. Single malt's not typically my thing, but since it's one of those things I could only get through this, you know, this person reaching out to me, I had to give it a try. Plus, Jack Daniels has just crushed it with their limited release stuff lately, um, and I can't imagine this is any different. So let's get this open. I have been dying to try this. Let's get it open. Let's see what we feel about it. All right. Oh, I can already smell this. Just a tiny bit. Since we have tons of reviews to do today. Give it a nose. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh man. This might be one of my favorite noses I've ever had on a, on a whiskey. This is glorious. That fruit from the sherry is there. The color on this is just incredible, by the way. I don't color correct any of our videos, so um, that's what it actually looks like. That There's like a chocolate note to this as well. Definitely some, uh, is this barley? There's like a bread note is what I'm getting at. Um, dark chocolate covered nuts, so I'm not crazy. Uh, Chocolate covered nuts. It's okay, I'm not nuts. It actually, I didn't read that, I swear. I didn't read that until just now. Um, there is a chocolate note to it. I'm not nuts. My nose is getting better, yo. My nose is getting better. There's definitely a nuttiness to it as well. Almost kind of reminds me of the Evan Williams from before. The Evan Williams single bear. This nose is just a 10 out of 10. Like, I'm going to, after we record all of these videos today, I'm going to sit on the couch with a glass of this and I'm going to just smell it. Even if I hate the way it tastes after I taste it here, I'm going to sit there and just smell, smell this. This is unbelievably gorgeous. Let's give it a mouthing and see how we feel about it. Oh, that's very whiny. Oh, that tastes like wine. That is so strange. That reminds me, so here's the thing, that is good, that is very good. It was very different from what I was expecting to taste. I thought I'd kind of get like a little bit of the wine, but there is a lot of wine characteristics in this, a lot. Um, this is a very odd comparison, but this is what my brain remembered. There was a time when I was very young, when I just turned 21, and I got this bottle called Choco Vine, and it was literally like a red wine mixed with like chocolate milk, or so, I don't remember exactly, chocolate something. And it kind of gives me that. This is very, very chocolatey and very rich. Um, this is really, really good. The choco vine wasn't, but it's the flavor that kind of like reminded me of it. It doesn't necessarily taste just like it, but it reminded me of that. That is very interesting. There's definitely a pecan note on this. That's the, that's the nut that I feel like it smells, tastes like the most. That is just really, really good. Man, uh, I was talking to my boy Cinnabourbon, and he was saying he was wanting to get his hands on this. Dude, you are going to love this. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I could smell this all day. Um, if you can find a way to get your hands on this, I would recommend it just because it's so different than anything else I've had. Um, it is very, very different. Um, if you don't like finished stuff, which I'm, I'm kind of like torn on 50-50 with them, um, I would probably stay away from this because it is very wine, whiny. 
very, very, very gr like red wine, Cabernet. Uh, what's the other, what's the other red wine? What's the one that I like? Merlot. Merlot. Very kind of Merlot esque. Um, it's very interesting. I, I like this more than I thought I would, but I was excited to try something very new. And it is very new, it's very different. But I like this more than I anticipated liking this. That's really good. <laughs> that's really good. Man, I really like that. Uh, that's it for the review. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Until then, cheers.